I've attached a half inch plywood template to the body using two screws. One in the neck pocket route and one where the bridge will be located. And I've placed a top bearing router bit in my router. And that's a router bit that has, excuse me, a bottom bearing router bit. It's a router bit that has a bearing at the bottom of the bit. And the bearing will ride on this half inch template and it will allow me to route out the body to the shape of the template and I'll route away everything that is not the shape of this guitar. And what I'm doing is I've got the bit extended as deep as it will go so that I get the deepest cut I can get. But this body is one and three quarter inches thick. So I'll have to do this in stages. The first stage is the route with this bit around the body using this template as a guide. And I have to be careful what I'm doing and watch how big of a cut I make. I will make several small passes in every section of the body because if I make too deep of a cut or if I move the router in the wrong direction, in other words, against the grain of the wood, then you can get what is known as router tear out. And basically what will happen is that the bit is spinning at such high rate of speed and it's got so much horsepower behind it or torque behind it that it will actually rip out or tear out huge chunks of wood from the instrument body if I don't do this very cautiously. Now this is a time consuming operation. The nine minutes or so that you see here was two or three hours worth of work. That's how light a cut you need to take and how slow. Now yeah, you can horse around it. I did it on a couple of guitars, but I quickly found out that uh, that's not the way to go because I got one that I got huge chunks tore out of it and had to repair it. So it's better to do it this way than cry about it later. And here I am around the treble horn of the instrument. And I really wish that I had had the money to buy a couple of newer bits. These are older bits. They're not as sharp and they tend to sometimes burn the wood a little bit. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that except sand it all out once everything is done. And that's kind of normal when you use power tools. Even with a sharp bit, sometimes you'll get a bit of burn. And you have to sand it out. And so now that I've routed all that I can with the template on, I'll remove it. Safety first. Anytime you're messing with a router and doing anything besides cut and unplug the sucker. And so now what I'm going to do is the sides of the body that I, the part of the sides of the body that I actually routed, they are now the template. 
I've got the bearing bit extended the same depth as before. And I'm going to let it ride that part of the body to route out as much as I can. It still will not go all the way to the other side of this body. There'll be like a quarter of an inch or so left on the bottom of the body. And I could have done this work with a rasp, but <laughs> let's be uh, serious here. That would be some serious, serious work. So there are times when a power tool is the tool for the job. I like my hand tools and I will use them as much as possible. But when I can't, then I know better. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change this bit out for what's known as a top bearing router bit. And what that means is instead of having a bearing at the bottom of the bit, this bit has a bearing at the top of the bit. And what this will allow me to do is uh, now that I can turn it, the uh, body over and route the little lip that's left over because that top bearing bit is riding on the part of the body that I routed before. And so that's how we get a clean route of the body. And you'll see a little line, a little dark line that's where the bearing for some reason maybe it's not moving as smoothly as it should it's not spinning right or whatever but it's burning the wood that's all right that's what sanding is for i'd rather not have had it happen but it's an old bit and it's all i had and it can be dealt with it's not an issue it's just elbow grease And even though this is a very small lip, you still got to go nice and easy, nice and slow, and take small bites. Because it will still rip out, tear out, if you don't. And here it is completed it's ready for me to sand the sides smooth and do any contours uh, or anything else that needs to be done to bring the body to the proper shape thanks for watching I'll talk to you later